Hey lovely sexy hobby people. Welcome to Monday's video which is going to be a flick through for FX Model World issue 160. Uh, Black Buck 6. We improve Airfix's 172 scale Avro Vulcan B2. Cool, that's going to be an interesting article. Right, so contents 28. Out and about, remarkable Romsey. Romsey Modeler's annual show. Advanced build, hanger cat. 48, Italian Stallion, 42, Figure Build, Pirate of Storm Coast, 82, Advanced Build, Monster Moby Dick, Revels 148 scale B24D Liberator. Right, latest from Airfix. Uh, so, some recent releases by the look of it. What is this? Flurry new releases with arguably the biggest, both in terms of model and anticipation, being its reworked 148 scale Buccaneer. Retailing at £72.49. pence. That's a lot of money. Model World Live expands to Hall 12 at the NEC. That's a cool one. This is like an aircraft that's just been left and it's, and the modeler has chosen to depict the green algae buildup that you often get with vehicles and cars and boats, God knows what else that just left. Mandalorian speeder bike, first look. So what scale is this? Oh, it's 1 12th scale. So it's 1 12th scale speeder. So that's quite, comes with a base, which is handy. Base and stand. And a Grogu. Sublime to the Ridiculous, A6A Intruder. 172 scale. Now I remember the Airfix one, uh, not the Airfix, the Matchbox one that was done, that Matchbox did many years ago. I had one. Um, I think I did it as a Prowler. Because I think you, I found the right, you were able to do both. But um, that's a nice kit. I do like the Intruder and, and the Prowler. I think the Prowler was the ECM uh, weapon system, the Jammer. Vintage half tracks return, 135 scale half tracks. So I never had the gun carriage or the mortar carriage, but I did have the 135 scale half track with the figures that came with it, and that was really good. Revels Mandalorian Hot Rod, and there's a 124 scale Naboo Starfighter. Um, for the Mandalorian. Marine Corps Lightning 2. That is a 135 scale F-35A from Tamiya. Is it? It says 135 scale there, but on the box art it says 148 scale. Which one is it? Which one is it? I'm often seeing little typos like this with the Airfix Modelers magazine. Right, here we go. In a step out of his comfort zone, Anders Isaacson transforms Edward's 148 scale F4 F4 Wildcat with the firm's recent 3D printed wing fold set. So that's cool. Um, and it's 148 scale F4 F4 Wildcat um, by Edward. It's 23 euros 60 apparently. Okay. 
from edward.com. Some 3D printed parts here. So that you can obviously depict it with the wings folded in a aircraft carrier hangar. Nicely weathered as well. Out and about, Romsey scale model show. Based on a Hong Kong Models 148 scale Lancaster, Richard Amflett of the Tank Museum Volunteer Modelers created this post-war RAF Coastal Command replica. That's a nice colour scheme. I like that. Uh, renowned car modeler Philip Cowley of Tangmere Scale Modelers IPMF unveiled his latest masterpiece, a scratch-built 132 scale replica of the record-breaking 1935 Bluebird. Diorama build. Road to the front. David Holmes utilizes components from an Italeri product in kit bashing a 135 Dragon SDKFZ234-4 to overcome the challenges of missing parts. So diorama build. There's a lot of stuff that this guy's doing down here with regards to the steering and suspension. Delicate drive link components marked in red for clarity were fitted to each axle to complete the chassis. And this is a dragon kit of the SDKFZ 234 slash 4 it's 135 scale 69.99 and it's available from hobbyco.net i do need to practice my airbrushing german orderly motorcycle set from Tamiya, 135 scratch, £9.95 from hobbyco.net. And then they've used six intricately molded and easy assembly German figures by Masterbox were purchased to add to the narrative to the uh, to add to add narrative to the diorama. There were sporadic hints of flash, but this was easily removed. Are they gonna provide kit details, price and that for that? And uh, the answer is no. Right. Do, 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 do. Pirate of the Storm Coast. This is brilliant. This orc is superb. I love the base as well. So obviously they've just taken a piece of wood to make the base and then obviously cut um, out something so that they can put the, the plinth that the bust is sat on into it. But this is uh, Papa Jambo, or Jambo, the Mighty Shaman, by Big Child Creatives. It's 112 scale, it's 43 euros 58 from bigchildcreatives.com. I do love this green colour scheme and like the purple nose that they've done. That is a really nice touch. Italian stallion Nicholas Nutson builds special hobbies SIAI uh, Machete SF260 straight from the box. So it is the SIAI Marchetti SF260 by Special Hobby 172 scale and it's 
£10.60 from Special Hobby Stockists. That's a nice clean miniature. Intermediate belt. I'm loving this. I mean, this like pale grey, off white colour scheme is really nice. Bright yellow beamer. Since its origins in 1917, as a wrap motorin BMW, Bayer Ich Motorin Werk, hopefully I pronounce that reasonably well, is a name synonymous with high performance top quality cars and motorcycles, and it has often been used and it has often used motorsport as a means of promoting its products to its target market. So, new news, iconic 1980s BMW M3 racer. And that is a really bright yellow. So it's 124 scale from new new. It's the BMW M3 E30. Uh, 91 auto tech it says there uh, it's 43 pounds 95 from new new stockists I know a lot of car modelers build their stuff you know and, and then leave it but I'd love to see these things like the interior just weathered a little bit so that detail popped out a little bit more you know you've got panel lines on these cars it'd be nice to just have a slightly darker yellow in those panel lines to accent those bits and pieces and here we go the black buck by the 1980s, the Avro Vulcan was coming to the end of its long service in the RAF, but in 1982, the type was used for, at the time, the longest range bombing missions in history. Furthermore, these Black Buck missions, as they were codenamed, also highlighted the RAF being able to make the most in terms of capability from very little, and as examples of determination and ingenuity. Yeah, absolutely. Um, as they say, at the time, they were the longest bombing missions uh, ever. Um, but not only that, the collapsing refuelling that they did, because in order to, I think they went from here to Ascension Islands and then from the Ascension Islands to the Falklands uh, to do the bombing. Um, and in order to do that, they used the Victor tankers in a collapsing refueling system. So you'd have X amount of refueling tankers go out with the bombers. And then some of those refuelers would refuel the refuelers so that they could continue whilst other tankers were refueling the um, Black Buck uh, aircraft. Um, and then obviously as things were refueled and topped off, you know, aircraft would then peel away from the formation and go home. And that's kind of like how they had to do it. Um, where did I see? I saw a really good diagram of the refueling, collapsing refueling system that they did. Um, and it showed how many of the Victor tankers had to refuel other Victor tankers so that they could continue to fly with the Vulcans um, in order to then refuel them at the appropriate time. I can't remember where I saw it. Honestly, ah, oh, bugger, that's gonna niggle me now. Um, really nice cockpit detail here. Uh, Edwards Photo Etch Extras provides simple yet effective upgrades to the interior, although the rear bulkhead doesn't receive any embellishment.
That's a nice photo etched frame there. So there were some extra bits, right? An additional new frame is included in the black butt boxing holding an ANALQ10 101V10 uh, ECM pod and AGM 45 strike missiles and their launch rails plus the underwing pylons. So that were these. Some people have said that the pylons that are provided with the kit are not as good as they could have been. I mean, as an aircraft, the Vulcan is very... In fact, all, all three of those bombers, the, the Va Vickers Valiant, the Handley Page Victor, and the Avro Vulcan, they were all iconic for their, for their time. You know, the V-Force, the v basically, is what they became to be known as, the V-Bombers. The Valiant, I believe, was retired early because of stress fractures that were found in the airframe from its low level bombing which is or supersonic bombing low level bombing or something um you know which is a shame because it would have been nice to see some of those still flying when i was a kid nice set cap jaguar there Out and about, Hooten Euroscale modelling exhibition. That is a really nice crashed Lancaster. Saturn V, Baby Grogu. <laughs> the Final Countdown, I remember that film. Um, so um, a modern, I think, was it Nimitz? I think it was Nimitz. Gets sucked into a time vortex and ends up just before Pearl Harbor, and there's a, there's a scene where a couple of Tomcats are dueling with a couple of Zeros. Swiss Air. X-Scale makes its airliner debut with a DC-8, and as Massimo Santa Rosa discovers, all is not what it seems. So is this gonna be one for, yeah. It's one 144 scale. It's the DC-832 Swiss Air by X-Scale, and it's $36 from xscalemodels.com. It's a nice looking aircraft, I have to say. They've wrapped, it says here, they've wrapped some copper ball bearings in blue tack to add nose weight. Um, and they're just saying that they had some issues with fit of the nose cone, which they then had to use a flex file to file down. I mean, I'm a 172 scale fan. Um, I once had a AC-130 uh, Spectre gunship, um, which I loved. It was, I mean, it was too big for where I was living, but I loved having it. And, you know, I know a lot of airliners I've done in this one 144 scale, but I'd love to see, I'd love to see more in a 172 scale. Southwest Model Show. Was that is it the Westland Whirl Whirlwind? I know it's a whirlwind, I can't remember who made it. And a Great War French French Saint Chamond heavy tank. Look at this, look at this. Now, I can remember building 
And I'm, I'm a little bit confused because I went onto Scalemates to have a look, but I can remember building, I think it was the B24 Privateer, which was the Matchbox kit from the 80s. But I thought that that kit allowed you to build either or. So I was remembering wrong because when I looked at the kit on scale mates it um, it had the single upright aileron um, at the back um, but I thought it had I thought it was a case of you could um, put you know like you could put a nose cone on you had like a tail cone so you had two different ones either one for a liberator with the twin or the single for the privateer um, but yeah that was that was what I remember from the B24 as a kid but this one looks really nice I mean and this is 148 scale so the detail here is just going to be fantastic it is tricycle landing gear That's an impressive aircraft. I love it. And I love this camouflage scheme on it as well. It's kind of like an olive drab with just little hints of another colour on the edges. nice okay books here we go Heinekel HE115 that's the float plane that uh, Heinekel had um, and again Ma oh, Matchbox did a 172 scale kit uh, of the Heinekel 115 and I had it so uh, that's 70 pounds wow <clears throat> development and operational history 1937-1952 here I am focus edition number one German army centric reference series um, I'm assuming that's the cannon then is it that they're talking about uh, highlights include color shots of Panzer Regiment 18th Panzer Bethelswagen 3 exiting the river bug in East Europe. Anyway, Heinekel HE 162 from drawing board to destruction, the Volksjäger. Uh, Polish Wings 33, Illusion Ill 2, and then Afghan Air Wars. Air Wars. Kit wise, we've got Hurricane Mark 2 from Italy in 148 scale. A Mistil 5 in 1144 scale uh, from Bren Gun. A P47D uh, 25RE Thunderbolt Mini Art in 148 scale. A Mirage 2000D in 172 scale from Models Vit. Revel uh, Alpha Jet 50. So that's three Alpha Jets in one 144 scale from Revel um, for 30 euros basically. And then Airliner Trident 1C in one 144 scale from X scale. Armour. So we have a Berg Panzer Hetzer. Um, and if I remember rightly, um, the Hetzer was also a, wasn't it an assault gun as well, or a tank hunter? But this is uh, with a two centimeter flak 38. 
the Morris CS9 armoured car, North African campaign in 172 scale. And that's from Planet Models. Um, Gecko Models, 135 scale. We have a Scimitar Mark II. So that's CVRT, Operation Cabrit in Estonia. A US Army uh, G7105 4x4 1.5 tonne panel van, 135 scale, mini art. An M1340 Italian tank late production in 172 scale. And this is IBG models. And then a 135 scale Leopard 1 from Revel. Uh, Leopard 1 A1A1 and A1A4. And then civilian vehicles we have the Aston Martin in 124 scale from Revel. We have the Quick Build Transport for London New Route Master from Airfix and the Liefer Pritzwagen Pritzenwagen Type 170V with canvas from Mini Art 135 scale. Uh, on the shelf, World War II pilots of British Naval Aviation in 132 scale. German tank riders, World War II, Mini Art, 135 scale. Javelin crew, Ukraine, anti-tank crew, Master Box, 135 scale. Birth of the team, the first raid, Master Box, 135 scale. This, <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me, this looks a bit science fiction. Um, some cheese sellers in 135 scale from Mini Art and World War II British Vickers machine gun crew in 135 scale. That's nice. US Navy Oliver Hazard Perry class. So AFV Club in 1700 scale is a ship from them. So decals, plenty of exotic decals. So we have number one, Italian Cobras, Bell P39 in Regia or Regia Aeronautica part one. Uh, doesn't say all are released in both 172 and 148 scales. Italian Cobras there. Um, heavy night fighters in Italian service. Italian Spitfire, Supermarine Spitfire in an Regia or a Nautica. So that's those. And Swiss Gustavs over Alps. ME 109G 6, Swiss Air Force, part, Air Force part 1. So that's those. And Swiss Gustavs over Alps 2. Uh, MW109G6 in Swiss Air Force Part 2. And then some aftermarket parts. Atlantic Models aftermarket roundup. So what we got here? So Revel 1700 scale ships, Trumpeter and Dragon. So it's upgrade sets for Trumpeter, Dragon and Revel 1700 scale ships plus three decals for one three fiftieth uh, subjects. So Let's have a look. First decal set is a superb generic pack for 1350 scale Royal Navy ships, deck warning circles and placards. Uh, next is ATC Deck 14 Type 23 frigates. That's those. Union Jacks, White Ensigns plus waterline markings. And last is 1350 scale Royal Navy helicopters. Prize Markings Fleet Air Arm Wessex has three, and HU5 Sea King has two, four, and Airborne Early Warning, uh, Wasp plus Lynx and Wildcat. So that's those. And these Atlantic's Invincible Class Carriers. Type 23 
Right, the first item is ATM 7007, which is designed for trumpeters type 231700. And addresses the kit shortfalls such as deck railings and ladders, that's those. Um, the remaining items do much to augment and improve the ship's clutter from radar mounts to RGM84 Harpoon launch racks and then Atlantic's Invincible class carriers. A comprehensive offering to update the Dragon reboxed by Cyber Hobby Revel. The threat is dominated by an extensive provision of railings and safety nets, which is this one. Tool set 135 scale from Mini Art. 148 scale BF 109K4 engine from Edward. Boeing 727 100 200 landing flaps. Flesh paint set from Life Color. And then that's it. The last few pages of adverts and then the show guide, which I'll do the photos for. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that quick flick through and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.